what's next? What do you kind of, what, beyond just the automobile side of it? What's what do you see in terms of where we're going? Technology. What do we need? What's out there? What's your sort of vision of the future? Well, I I, I don't know about uh, really the focus of this podcast and right? such, but when I look at countries in the European Union mm-hmm. and China. Mm-hmm are really being the leaders in the world trying to wrap their arms around the problems we're facing. And I'm sitting here right now pretty sadly disappointed with what kind of leadership on world problems we're getting here in the United States. Mm -hmm. We Mm -hmm. have the smartest people in the world. We have some of the greatest freedoms in the world, if you look at our press kinds of things we do here right now and the greatest technology and the greatest economy why are we not number one leaders out in front of solving these problems rather than you know complaining and moaning and whining oh we can't do anything because the chinese will drag us down hell they're doing stuff that's right you know i'm i'm kind of disappointed in what we're doing right now and i just i I just see that it's time for the United States to get back in the driver's seat and take a leadership role on all these issues. There you go. What do you think? What, what do you think's behind that, too, Mark? I mean, what? What? So what? We do have the smart people. We've got the, we the innovators. We've got the people. We've got the resources. What's What's preventing this? Is it just government and politics? Is that what we're talking about here, or is it leadership? What do we think? I think it's a leadership vacuum right now, and I, you know, I see. I see municipalities and states doing way more than we're doing at the federal level, and the federal government needs to step up and take follow the leadership that we're doing at the grassroots level. Heck, city of Atlanta is going has made a commitment to go carbon neutral. You know, city of Atlanta (laughs) is ahead of the United States of America. What what are we talking about here? This is just insane. I know, I know. Well, it uh, it's something we have to grapple with. It's just this time. Maybe it's a maybe it's this speed bump that we just have to get over and kind of move forward. Because you know, I've I've told a lot of my friends, soon as the second island is totally underwater everybody's going to wake up and as soon as you know yeah the highway out to tybee island is always underwater uh we're going to see a lot more action the miami thing, or half the city of miami is the sad thing uh, is yeah. is we're going to be a whole lot further behind the eight ball by the time that happens it's going to be 30 years down the road when that happens yeah we need to get in gear and yeah. get going don't we all right i'm i'm totally in agreement with that tom final word what's uh what's it been like for you today uh, to get to uh, hear all of this and be a part of it and I'm glad we got at that last minute there we got a little bit of like I uh, want to pound my fist on the table this thing is not where it needs to be but what final thoughts for us today well carbon issues cl- climate change those kinds of things the solutions are already there and they are not woo woo and new age and out there and uh, crazy they are pragmatic and uh, they'll have the side benefit of creating jobs and I think these are, to Mark's point, these are some of the issues that we need to think about in the United States rather than it seems like we have a narrowed focus. I think it's a matter of focus, really, ultimately. Mm-hmm.